Yes, there have been constructive talks with Ford, and we have made progress in important areas. Today, with just hours to go before the expiry, a deal is still not in place. We are not where we need to be on key priority issues. Pensions and the wage package are atop that list. As some of you will know from experience, a lot can happen in the final hours of deadline bargaining, and there is still a lot of negotiating to do. But we know where we stand here, and we are not wavering from our core priorities, especially pension improvements. We need Ford to deliver more to meet our members' expectations and demands. It's as simple as that. Our job, indeed our obligation, is to get the best deal possible for Canadian auto workers. A deal that reflects these extraordinary times. A, a deal that does right by our members and our retirees. We also know that we don't negotiate in a vacuum. Our negotiations are affected by much broader economic forces and political headwinds, including those coming from outside our own borders. Of course, we have been keeping a close eye on ongoing negotiations between the UAW and Detroit 3, while keeping focus and attention on the issues that matter the most to uniform members here in Canada. I want to be crystal clear about a few things. Our team will continue to bargain with Ford Motor Company right up until the deadline, if necessary. At that point, at that point, if this master committee cannot come to terms on a final settlement, our collective agreement with Ford will expire and we will be on strike. The last time we had a strike with Ford Motor Company was 1990. There's a lot of work still to do and still some time to do it. But what I can confirm is that if there is a strike, this will be a total strike. Every single one of Unifor's 5,600 members at Ford in Canada will be on picket lines. Our Oakville assembly plant, our Windsor powertrain operations, our parts distribution centers, our office and technical units, everyone together. I also want to be clear that this is not our desired outcome. However, I need uniform members at Ford to understand that as of right now, this is a strong possibility. Yes, there are still a few hours to go before we get to the deadline, and your entire Master Bargaining Committee remains committed to the bargaining process and doing everything they can to secure a tentative agreement. As I said, there is still much negotiating to do, but this is as serious as it gets, and the consequences are real. Our Windsor powertrain facilities building engines for F-Series trucks in the U.S., as well as the iconic Ford Mustang, will stop production. Our Oakville assembly plant will stop producing the Edge and Nautilus. No parts will flow to dealers and aftermarket suppliers from our parts distribution centers in Bramalee, Paris, Castleman, and Leduc, Alberta. Ours is a small, but highly consequential footprint for Ford operations in North America. And this is our leverage, and we will use it.